We are back with another video. I've been excited to make this one for a little bit now because these are some of my favorite videos to watch on all of YouTube. Joe Biden gaffes. They're just they're just so entertaining and he's just such a bright, knowledgeable, smart guy and I just love to be to be filled with his knowledge and wisdom. So today we are going to be reacting to 13, the best 13 Biden gaffes of all time part 2 by Leo Ash on YouTube. So shout out to the guy for making the video. And uh, we're just going to react to um, to his uh, to his videos. We're not going to be too biased. We're just going to tell it like it is, and we're going to see how smart he is. So, yeah. We hold these truths to be self-evident. All men and women created by the go, you know the, you know the thing. <laughs> you know the thing. I, yeah, you see, you got to be, you can't be this hard on this guy. You know what, you know what the thing is. It's the thing. Okay. So I don't want to see you. Roasting Joe Biden. It's the thing. So you know what it means. He knows what it means. Everyone knows what it means. It's the thing. Come on. Give him a break. The Me Too movement has forced a cultural reckoning around the issue of sexual violence and harassment against women in America. No man has a right to raise a hand to a woman in anger. And so we have to just change the culture, period, and keep punching at it and punching at it and punching at it. <laughs> nice choice of words there, Joe. Nice. Good job. Said perfectly. That's right. It's the exact way to put it. <laughs> Even order. Joker knows that. We man. have this notion that somehow if you're poor, you cannot do it. Poor kids are just as bright and just as talented as white kids. Oh, beautifully said. Poor kids are just as bright and talented as white kids. Joe Biden said it himself, so I guess that makes it true. Good job, Joe. So bright. This is exactly the reason I love watching this guy. Just, no, that's not right, Joe. You don't say that on live. You don't say that at all. It's not true. But, um, you know, this isn't a gaffe at all because he, he corrects himself and makes it 100% better. So I don't know why, yet again, I don't know why this is on the video. I mean, he's obviously in the right here. He said, he said it, you know, he, he corrected himself. So that makes it all good. Wealthy kids, black kids, Asian kids. To be honest, I'm not, I'm surprised CNN hasn't taken this down yet because <laughs> I, I just, I'm surprised CNN hasn't taken this down. I mean, but think how we so think he corrected himself. So then he switched. He added black kids and Asian kids. So uh, yeah, it makes it okay. Why should the voters believe that you can win the national election? I was a Democratic caucus. Have you been to a caucus? No, you haven't. You're a lion, dog-faced pony soldier. <laughs> what? What does that even mean? He's no, no. Sorry. How could I question? How could I question Joe Biden? No, Joe. That's a very unique one that you just created. I, I guess you came up with that in your own mind. I really enjoyed that roast. I'm actually have to use it myself. Lying dog-faced pony soldier. Makes perfect sense. And if you question it, you're not black. Okay? Just like just like Joe Biden said himself. And you ain't black. And you ain't black. <laughs> I got your work today, Jack. Look, look, Jack. Look, this is it. Joe, I'm pretty sure you're like 10 years older than this guy, and you're saying he's too old to vote for you. It's his comebacks are honestly something I would wouldn't be surprised to hear in like a preschool. Like you're too old to vote for me. What does that even mean? See, so that means that this lady over here in the in the gray hair to the right of Joe would be too old to vote for him as well. So I guess he wants no one over the age of, what, probably 65 to vote for him? I mean, hey, it's just going to help Trump, so thank you. Tishuk knows a lot about it. His mom uh, lived in uh, in Long Island for 10 years or so. Uh, God rest her soul. And uh, um, although she's great, your mom's still your mom's still alive. Is your dad passed? What? God bless her soul. Joe, I was like, oh, he's doing something nice for once, you know, paying his respects to his mother who passed away. But no, he couldn't even get that right. How do you mix that up? It was his dad that passed away, and he said it was his mom. That is so sad, Joe. And and the funny part about Joe is every time he makes a mistake, he like laughs at himself kind of just to try to get it off like the topic. 
but everyone's laughing at you still. It just, it's funny because all these people are like hypnotized. Like, you know, they're just, they agree with everything he says. We choose truth over fact. <laughs> Joe 2020. Like they still root for him no matter. He could say them. Well, he already does say the stupidest things that's ever been said. And they continue to clap for him, vote for him. I don't know, but it's it's definitely sad more than funny. But I do get amused by listening to this stuff. But he completely mixed it up, and they're clap and they're clapping for him. Just what? You can tell how embarrassed Barack is every time he's seen in public with Joe, because Joe makes a, a gaffe every time they're in public, and Barack is just completely embarrassed by it. You can tell by his face every time. To get this straight. Yeah, you do, Play Joe. the radio. Make sure the television. Excuse me. Make sure you have the record player on at night. What? The record player on at night? Some things go from funny to just outright make no sense. Make sure you leave the record player on at night. What does that mean? What does that mean? Guess only Joe Biden will ever know. And I, I, I would bet to you that he doesn't even know. Corn Pop was a bad dude. Corn Pop was a bad dude. Yes, Corn Pop was obviously a bad dude, man. You got good. Yes, he was. He was a bad dude. And he ran a bunch of bad boys. Yes, he did. And I did. And back in those days, you show how things have changed. One of the things you had to use, if you used pomade in your hair, you had to wear a bathing cap. And he cut what? off the six foot length of chain. He pulled up. He said, you walk out with that chain. And you walk to the car and say, you may cut me, man, but I'm going to wrap this chain around your head. What? Look at the kids. They seem so amused, don't they? Just look at the little girl's face to the left of Joe Biden. They all love his beautiful speech about wrapping a chain around his head. It's very presidential. I walked out with the chain. And I walked up to my car. And they had, they, those days, used to remember the straight race. You'd bang them on the curb, get them rusty, put them in a rain barrel, get them rusty. And By this point, 99% of the audience, 99% of the world, just they don't have a clue what he's even saying at this point. What? Get on Rusty, put him in the rain barrel, put him on the curb. Like, what does this even mean? And how does this relate to anything, Joe? Like, it, it's really sad to see his mental decline. It is. Get hot. I got a lot of, I got hairy legs. Hairy legs. Oh, boy. Yeah, I mean, I, I wouldn't, I'm not surprised that Joe Biden said that, to be honest. That's, that's very normal for him to say something like that. That turn, that, 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 that turn. That, that, uh, that, 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 that turn, that turn. Uh, um, blonde in the sun, and the kids used to come up and reach in the pool. Oh, I know. And rub my leg. I know you like the kids rubbing your legs, Joe. We're we're well aware of that. Um, so it was straight, and then watch the hair come come back up again. They look at it. So I learned about roaches. I learned what? That's the thing about out of the entire video. I don't think uh, that gets enough attention. He literally just called these kids roaches. Kids roaches. That's so offensive. And for people uh, like him, you know, they get offended over the smallest thing. Like if you if you call if you call them a girl, you're like, did you just assume who I am? Well, he just called these kids roaches. No attention to it at all. But I'm not surprised, you know. He just, they're. I mean, to him, he probably does see roaches because I wouldn't I wouldn't be surprised. But it's just, how do you get kids and roaches mixed up? Like, how where, how does that come into your mind, Joe? How? Roaches. Ah. <sighs> Roaches, roaches, roaches. Kids jumping on my lap. And I've loved kids jumping on my lap. Joe, we know you love roaches jump. I mean, I mean, I mean kids jumping on your lap, Joe. We know you love kids jumping on your lap. That's a known fact. I mean, whatever happened to the old conservative discipline about paying for what you spend? I'm up for re-election this year, and I'm going to remind everybody what I did at home, which is going to cost me politically. I, when I argued that we should freeze federal spending, I meant Social Security as well. I meant Medicare and Medicaid. I meant veterans. Benefit. I meant every single solitary thing in the government. And I not only tried it once, I tried it twice, I tried it a third time, and I tried it a fourth time. And Joe, you're going to be trying it a fifth, a sixth, and seventh. Joe, you're going to have to keep trying because it's not going to work, okay? <laughs> but that's, that's another nice clip right there. Yeah. And thank you, uh... Dr. Pepper. Dr. Pepper? You, Chancellor. Or Dr. Pepper. And thank you, Chancellor. How do you get Dr. Pepper and Dr. Paper? Which, I don't even know if that's his name, honestly. It could, it may not even be Dr. Paper. But he said Dr. Pepper. A soda, Joe. A soda. <sighs> we 
choose unity over division. We choose science over fiction. We choose truth over facts. Yeah, what's what's the big deal about this? Obviously, we want truth over facts. We're just looking for the truth over facts. It's obvious. It's obvious. Obvious. Obviously. Obviously, man. I just they're giving them a really hard time because it just makes sense. Truth over facts. How could you disagree with that? Paul Ryan was correct when he did the tax code. What's the first thing he decided we had to go after? Social Security. What? And Medicare. What? Now, we need to do something about Social Security and Medicare. It's the only way you can find room to pay for it. Joe, I'm sorry to tell you, um, but that mic right there you're getting so close to, it's not a child, okay? So you don't have to get so close because I know you'd, you'd be all over that if it was a, if it was a roach, as you would call it. A roach. Together, we have never, never, never been unable to overcome whatever the problem was. If you agree with me, go to Joe 30330 and help me in this fight. Thank you very much. Just so sharp, so quick, so talented, so bright. Every, every um, word you could think of to describe Joe when it comes to knowledgeable. His intellect is just so great, so vast. So much wisdom being poured out of his mouth daily. Just so so sharp. He's just getting smarter every day. So this is why uh, I like to watch these videos, as you can tell. He just... I was obviously joking about him being smarter every day. His, his mental decline over the years, it's just sad to see. He really does belong to be in an old folks home or a prison because he has some allegations against him that he's done certain things in the past. So if you want to look that up, you can definitely see. So... Yeah, he should probably be in prison with Hillary, you know, spend their last years together in prison with her, with her deleted emails, him with his allegations. So yeah, uh, <laughs> anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I know I enjoy watching these. I watch this probably over this stuff like this an hour, over an hour a day. So hopefully you guys enjoyed. Please uh, leave a like, subscribe, and uh, thank you for watching, guys. See ya. Trust and confidence. I've got a lot of thanks to give out here. You have very good taste. Man, you have very good taste. <laughs> <laughs> have very good taste. <laughs> I learned about roaches.